Hello, this is not an update, but rather some progress in the next version that's still currently being worked on. And in this version you'll see uh, there's a few changes to the UI, there's also some work in progress, and a few little bits that are kind of broken and still getting worked on. But I just want to show you some of the progress with this so far. Um, so if you click on each set here, uh, it will highlight where those are, if there's any strands there. Currently it's just set 1 we've got here, and I'm just going to position this like I've done before, and you can increase the spacing and do all the, the waviness and things. Uh, I've recently added the tapering to the root and the tip, which is working quite nicely, and also a little bit of variation for X and Y positions. Uh, you can shuffle things up by clicking the dice or press space and it'll jiggle through. Okay, uh, you can increase the number of strands, decrease the spacing, change the length. Um, it's all se it all seems to be working quite nicely now. Um, you can change the, the thickness minimum and maximum, even make that so it almost disappears. Once it does a render, which I've yet to get to, it will fix all these little kind of dots and things here because that's just an optimized uh, preview. You can increase the uh, the detailing by using the up arrow and the down arrow just for performance reasons. So if I keep pressing the down arrow key, you can see that I can eventually reduce it so low that it looks like a kind of low poly type. But all these algorithms are now pretty solid and working, and it was a good bit of work that I had to sort of cover to get to get this uh, to this stage. But it's definitely progress in my mind, and there'll be a few tweaks to these algorithms because I see that this currently only jiggles some of these strands down and upwards, and um, doesn't really do a lot of variation between. So I'm going to give like extra control for things like that, like how many um, should move up and down, and and also there will be clumping control, which I've got a few ideas of how to make happen. That will be another pretty heavy bit of coding. So I'll be working on that. Um, as you can see, you can click on each set and increase the number of strands, change position. You can do completely new uh, changes to this. I'll also be working on the colour and things, uh, thicknesses and all that, I'm just um, mucking about here, but uh, currently none of these actually do anything yet, but there will be the ability to change these mixers up and follow different paths, uh, as well as maybe even changing the actual path nodes themselves to some degree. Um, <coughs> I quite like this uh, this feature where they kind of dyna dynamically move at the top and uh, some of these little things just came with the, uh, the little bit of coding that I've added. Uh, in theory, you could make really short strands and use them for like, I don't know, eyebrows and maybe even eyelashes if you prefer to use texture for eyelashes. You can do things like that. Increase the the detail there. Change the you know the waviness. But this is currently just in a kind of preview mode. I've not released this as an update or anything like that. Uh, you're still stuck with the, the current version, which is 1.287. This is 1.288 beta, and I won't be giving you access to this at any any point time soon because uh, there's a lot still to be, to be done, especially with the color algorithm, and then render rendering everything out to these mask uh, these maps again because none of that actually happens. It's all just in this previewer mode. Uh, but the algorithms are taking shape and soon, hopefully not too far in the future, and hopefully what you've got at the minute is pretty good. Um, so yeah, you can add even more sets, just increase the number of strands, change the positioning. I also want to add uh, the ability to copy and paste the um, the settings here, so maybe some kind of little button that says copy settings. And then when you click here, you can do paste settings, and it will just copy all those details in there. Um, 
I did take a few notes of other things I want to add, like some extra colour control, so not just uh, based on like the RGB masking system, which it still will have. Uh, I want to give you more control when it comes to actually creating the colour map, so it's not limited by that um, you know, simple four or five colour system here. So I uh, also need to add the fading in and out as well. That gives you that, that fifth colour because it will fade into the backdrop and then your masking will uh, you know, be be the one that sort of does the opacity or um, the cutout. Uh, I don't think there's much else that I've done. Um, I have been working on some hair shaders for Unreal and Unity that's going to like fully support all these maps. Currently I have a shader in Unreal Engine that does uh, take use of, uh, make use of the RGB mask, uh, the mask map, i.e. the opacity mask. Uh, it also takes makes use of the normal map um, and potentially the frizz map, although currently that's just like a noise map that you can tile X and Y any number of times and that works for that kind of reason. Um, I'm also going to give the ability to rotate uh, these these sets as well, so you could rotate them and also you know add waviness. It means you can make these go any direction. You can even make them go like from uh, bottom to top, like flip them vertically. I'll, I'll add a kind of button for that if you prefer to be working in a similar way to XGen, the way it creates strands, but. Once this is ready, which would hopefully be, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be roughly summertime next year at the rate things are going. I'm super busy uh, at my job, uh, doing a lot of kind of technical art stuff in Unreal Engine and learning a, quite a lot of tricks there. So I'm, you know, I want to sort of reapply anything that I learned to this as well, because uh, it might be beneficial. but. Pretty sure what's been done with 1.277 is kind of like a good first version, and this will end up be becoming like a good version two. Uh, hopefully, version three of Hair Strand Designer will uh, include, you know, the geometry side of things where you can actually generate the hair cards and stuff. But that's super advanced for me at the minute. But it's definitely on the on the cards. Um, so I hope you like what I've done so far and I hope you enjoy using Hair Strand Design 1.287. If you do buy 1.287 uh, from ArtStation, this will uh, be free. It will be added into um, that you know purchase pack. So you'll have 1.287 plus 1.288, which will become basically version 2 uh, when it's ready. I might release um, beta versions of this. Uh, and the run up to maybe like you know before spring next year, maybe just after the winter, where I can give you a kind of preview snippet of this before it's finished, and you can you know muck about with it, suggest any new features and things like that. Uh, so maybe you can get some ideas just from this. There's a lot of stuff we've done with the UI. I've got the path making here, so there's actually a path thing. Uh, and here, and that would affect the the mixers. This is just demoing the directional path, the directional color as you bend the path around. And again, it's got the ability to have like these extra segments and things. It's not too optimized this, but there's three different paths that then you can uh, basically go and change these mixers to. Uh, these will kind of like bend towards that path shape uh, and that should be relatively easy to add in uh, but I'm kind of just going through these one by one so the next thing to go through will be the fading and the frizziness then I'll get these working and then I'll get the colors working and then the save files will be completely different because a whole new bunch of variables it has to save so it won't be uh, compatible with 1.287 um, but it will have a similar kind of save system and whatnot. Um, uh, yep, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't let this um, fool you into, you know, um, thinking that this is what you're going to get when you're buying Hair Strand Designer. You're actually going to get uh, a different version, which if you go to my YouTube channel, 
and you see something called Australian Designer and I've got a whole bunch of videos here don't let that confuse you either I do a broad range of stuff but this is the one that you'll be you'll be uh, buying um, and when the current version that I'm working on 1.288 i.e. version 2 uh, that will have all the, the new features but it will be its own its own tool so you can use this one the old school if you only want sort of kind of decent straight-ish hairs and you just want to make something quick and easy uh, then this will do that for you uh, or if you want something a bit more advanced then um, it will be the new version okay so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I've kept you entertained with the uh, hair strand designer you can suggest anything that you want to see while I'm in, uh, working on the new version and I'd love to hear what you think thanks for watching bye